Hello boys and girls and welcome back to virtual art class. Now this week we are going to be talking about emotions. Now emotions are our different feelings that we have inside. Now in art we actually use color to represent different emotions. Now I've drawn several on the board for you right now. Let's go over them and kind of talk through them because there's some that you might recognize. Now the first little smiley face I have up here is happy. Now when you're feeling happy, a lot of people associate the color yellow with happiness because it's bright and sunshiny and so a lot of people use yellow to represent something joyful. Now red usually represents something angry. When you're feeling really mad, sometimes your face turns a little bit red and so a lot of people use the color red for something really intense. Now, some artists actually use the color red to represent love. So isn't that crazy that the same color red can represent love and being angry or upset? Two very different emotions are represented by the same color sometimes. It all depends on how you want to look at it. Now, this smiley face right here is, well, it's not really a smiley face. It's a sad face because when you're feeling upset, sometimes you're feeling blue. That's a very common term that's used. If I'm feeling blue, that means I'm sad, I'm lonely, or I am upset. Now, usually when you're sad, you might express yourself by crying or you wanna be alone sometimes when you're upset. Now, over here, I have this kind of blank face right here. I used to, to represent fear with the color gray because sometimes when you're scared or you're feeling a lot of fear, you're frozen and you really don't know what to do. And fear is a very strong emotion, but you can represent that with any real color. Now, calm right here, I've represented that by the color green. Very relaxed. When I think of the color green, I think of nature. I think of trees, grass, something very relaxing. Now, I've drawn a little silly smiley face right here in the bottom corner, and I colored it orange, because when I think of the color orange, I think of something goofy or funny. But these are just a few examples of ideas of how color can express emotion. Now, we all process color a little bit differently. So your idea of a happy color might not be the same as my idea of a happy color, okay? You might not think yellow is a very happy color. You might think yellow is more of a sad color. It's all up to you, okay? So, because we all process this a little bit differently. Now, we've talked about all our emotions today, but we're gonna move on into our book and our project for today. Now, the book, I'm going to include a link in Schoology so you can go and watch this, but the book we have is called The Snurge. Now, the Snurge is a story of a little girl who has this monster behind her that makes her act out in class, and she's not really sure why, and she has to learn how to control her Snurge, okay? Now, I want you to pause here, click away if you have it, and read that book, and then come back so you'll know exactly what we're doing, okay? All right, I'm gonna set up our little drawing station, and I will be right back, okay? All right. We have all of our art supplies in front of us and it is time to get started. Now today, boys and girls, we are gonna be drawing our own Snurge. Now, the cool thing about this project is all of our Snurches are gonna look a little bit different, okay? So I'm gonna walk you through how I'm gonna draw mine, but you can draw yours any way you want, okay? I want you to kind of imagine in your mind what your Snurge would look like. Now. In our story, a snurch kind of causes you to act out when you don't know how to express yourself. When our character was in class, she was throwing things, she was being mean to her classmates. She wasn't really sure why. It's because her snurch kind of represents anger, frustration, sadness, all of these really hard feelings that we have inside. We can represent that through our snurch, okay? so. This is a little exercise I want you to do. I want you to, before we get started, I want you to think in your mind of some really hard feelings. Maybe the last time that you got really upset or really mad about something. Like, I think the last time that I got kind of upset was when I was in this McDonald's drive through line and it was taking so long. I remember being so hungry and so upset. 
because I wanted to get my food right away, but I was gonna have to wait in line like everyone else. But I remember that feeling of being just very angry and wanting to leave, but having to stay there. So you might have a different feeling of being really upset, but I want you to have that in your mind for how you want your snurch to look, okay? Because remember this feeling. Now, what I want my snurch to look like, if I could picture something when I think of something angry that makes me upset, I think it would be like a really big furry monster. So I would start out kind of drawing the body of a really fluffy, kind of maybe furry, mad, I'm gonna do an angry kind of zigzag line. Sometimes lines can be really angry too, because when you do a kind of a zigzaggy line like this, you're kind of having to move your pencil a whole lot like that. Okay, so this is gonna be the body of my snurch monster, okay? Now, I think my snurch monster would maybe have some horns at the top. So you'd be really angry and he would have these nice big horns. So I'm gonna add, it's almost like little curved triangles at the top. These are gonna be the horns of my monster. Now you do not have to add horns to your snurch if you don't want to, but if you do, this is an easy way to add them. Now, I'm gonna need some arms and legs for my snurch too, but I wanna make them extra hairy too. So I'm gonna do a little arm right here. Maybe it's furry and I'm gonna give him five big claws down here. Whoop, there you go. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. If you don't want yours to have just two arms, maybe you want more, maybe you want four or six arms. Maybe you want tentacles or something else for yours. Feel free to draw it however you want. Now for his little legs right here, I'm gonna also have him having some big furry legs and some big claws down here, making them nice and sharp. Yeah, I'm gonna have mine having really big feet down here. I'm gonna add some pointy toes, just like that. Okay, <laughs> my snurch is coming together pretty nicely. Okay, now I've got the body and I've got the arms, but the most important thing is the face. Now we use our face to express how we're feeling. Now, when we're mad, Maybe we frown and we get kind of angry eyebrows like this. So I was gonna draw some angry eyebrows. They're kind of slanted downwards. So I would draw these really angry, bushy eyebrows right up here. Because when I'm feeling mad and upset, that's how I like to express myself. And I'm gonna need some big eyes too to go right under my eyebrows. Some big, angry eyes. You can draw your eyes however you want to. Here we go, and I'm gonna add some little pupils in there. Perfect, okay. Now, I'm gonna give my Snurch a nose and then a really big frown on his face because when I'm really angry and upset, I don't feel like smiling. I do frown and I wanna show that I'm feeling upset inside. Okay, so for his nose, I'm just gonna draw a little circle right here. I'm gonna make it like a little pig nose. How about that? That would be weird. Let me add two little circles inside, just like that. Let me get you nice and close. You see his little piggy nose now? He's gonna have like a little snout because that's what I want mine to have. Now I want him to be frowning. So I'm gonna start up here and I'm gonna do a big zigzag frown right here. So he's really upset and he's really mad. Okay, all right. You can add any more details to your snurch that you want to, okay? So I'm gonna get mine nice and close so you can see. This is how I feel when I get angry and upset. It's like a big angry monster. And I'm using the color red because when I think of the color red, I think of getting angry and frustrated. All right, once you have finished the outline of your snurch, it is time to color. Now you can use any colors you want to. Think of colors that when you get angry or upset, if you could describe it in a color, which color would you pick? Would you pick maybe black, green, red, blue? How do you want your snurch to look, okay? I'm gonna show you one that I have already colored in and I've already finished, so you can kind of get an idea of what yours can look like, okay? Now, I have drawn this snurch earlier I used reds and orange and I made his horns a nice like black and gray color and I had his eyes be nice and bright red. Now, 
my snurch right here, you can tell that he's very angry and very frustrated. So if I think if my snurch came to life, this is what it would look like. Now, all of ours are gonna look a little bit different and that is great. That's what I want. I don't want you to copy my snurch because yours probably doesn't look like this. You might feel differently when you get upset. You might be a little bit more sad when you get upset or you might be a little bit more confused. It all just kind of depends, but this is how mine turns out. Make sure you're using very bright, fun colors. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put my snurch right up here so you can see. All right, that is it, boys and girls. Now, I want you to go ahead and finish coloring your snurch however you want to, and make sure to save it, because everything that we make in virtual art class is important. And I want you to take a picture of it and send it to me so I can see all of our amazing snurch drawings, okay? Now, I hope you had a lot of fun today and I hope you learned a little bit more about emotions and how to process them when you're feeling upset. Because when I feel upset, sometimes I like to draw and kind of express myself that way, okay? All right, that is all I have for you today. You are done, a big round of applause, and I will see you next week, okay? Bye.